Hello and welcome. This video we're going to get you access to your AWS Academy Learner Lab. So, students of mine and of any Academy institution, you should have received an email with instructions to that would allow you to establish an AWS Academy account and also connect to the course that your educator set up for you. If you are not one of those students, take a look at this marketing page that I have on the screen right now. And if you scroll down a little bit, you could read the program benefits and potentially see where you might fit in to gain access to this very valuable service. My students, head on over and log in. Be careful if you're Googling the login, you may come to this. This login page is for partner institutions that includes clients, employees, and educators. Students, however, take a look down below. This is not for you. So make sure you are using the link or login that was set with that email and the instructions. So at this moment, log in according to the instructions, head on over to your dashboard, and this is the scene that you should view. Granted, more than likely nowhere near as busy as this, but what you're looking for on your dashboard is a card that is to the class that was set up by your instructor. So once you find that card, click on open, or select it and educators this is the view you will have so please click on student view in the upper right hand corner and students this is what you should see when you access your course now a little bit about AWS Academy courses there they have many many different courses predetermined pre set up with curriculum tied to different tool or skill sets However, they also provide us with a sandbox environment and this sandbox environment allows us to take advantage of AWS services without a direct link to a curriculum. My students, we are project based, so this is the mechanism that we will use. The Learner Lab is the way to get access to that. So once you open up your course, the Learner Lab, click on Modules on the left-hand side. And then Modules gives us three choices here. The Student Guide, the PDF, is for you to read. The survey, obviously, is the end of the course, so we will be choosing the Foundational Services Middle. Select that. And now, Vocarium and Canvas, the Learning Management Systems for the Academy, are preparing our platform for us. And Direct your attention to the middle navigation of the platform. It indicates that students and educators are given a $100 credit towards services for the course. You will find more than likely that is more than enough to use. My courses, especially the earlier ones, my students, we will not draw that down, but it still doesn't mean you don't want to keep an eye on it. Uh, my more advanced courses, though, the more services we use with AWS, the quicker we will draw those down, especially if they run continuously in the background. So you do want to keep an eye on that. And the best way to do that is we're going to come over to here and these two buttons right here, Start Lab. We're going to select that to begin the lab. Labs run for four continuous hours, and if you are working on one for more than four hours, it will kick you out, so just log back in. But if you are not working for four continuous hours, make sure you come back and close the lab or hit end lab so that you stop that meter from running down your $100. Okay, second, uh, AWS link on the left-hand side here is our gateway to the management console and that's basically what we want. Once that is green, we wanna select that and it takes us to the management console which allows us access to the services that we will be using, the cloud services with Amazon Web Services. So, I'm saying services a little too much, I apologize, but one more time, take a look next to the logo up here, select that service grid, and it will draw down categories of all of the services available. My group, we were gonna be using the dev tools a little bit, so we would select here. But once you start using the services, it is nice. They will pop up the few that you are using more often than not in recently visited. So let me give you a little background about why I use AWS Academy for my students. They have been given Chromebooks for four years. And Chromebooks are awesome for students. They are the gateway or access to the internet. However, they do not have 
significant uh, computing power or storage power. And in order to write software, we need access to programs that are called integrated development environments, IDEs. And those IDEs are software programs in and of themselves, but they're work environments. And a little analogy here, imagine if you went out and bought your own computer and you wanted to write software, you would go to one of these IDE sites and download um, their programs. And their programs are massive and require large computing capacity and storage. Chromebooks do not allow us um, the ability to do that. So my students are able to access a server in the cloud or a computer in the cloud. And if you take a look here, pull down this section, this is telling me that I am specifically accessing a computer in Northern Virginia in a, in a data warehouse, probably four to five times a football field. And it's pretty cool. Google this, what the um, data centers are for AWS or cloud computing, and they are highly secure. Um, they are not published on where their location is other than a region. And there's a few in the region um, for redundancy. So that, that is a really cool thing to just check out and see how that works. But right now we are accessing that, and that's the benefit of the cloud. With a Chromebook, you get massive computing power. So. Finally, my students, and if you're accessing a course at, uh, through the academy, let's recap what you will do, and this will be almost daily. You're going to log in using your student login access. You're going to go to your dashboard, look for the card for that course, open that up. Then you're going to go to modules, and then foundational services, and that's going to open up the, the course itself start the lab, hit the play button to start the lab. Don't forget to come back and end it. And then once you have that green light on your AWS link, you're set to come on over to the management console and use the services according to the instructor's projects that you have. So again, that'll be daily. In the next video for my students, we're gonna be coming over and setting up one of those services, Cloud9, and that is simply the equivalent of maybe just downloading that program once so that we could write for the year. Um, so that's about it. Keep the link for this one. This is going to be a daily occurrence almost, so you might need to refresh yourself on occasion. I appreciate you coming out. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one, everyone.